guys okay today i'm gonna do a simple nail art tutorial for you guys and i just thought it'd be a really good idea to do something that relates to summer or going into summer so i decided that i'm going to do a um, tutorial to show you how to do um beachy kind of sunset nails and um, my inspiration's from asos so um if you want to check it out you could go onto asos's website and you can see um asos has a um, online version of their may issue magazine that you could check out the inspiration i might put the link in the down bar in case like you want to check it out for yourself but anyway go ahead and do that and yeah it's really cool but i'm just going to do my own version of it today and show you quickly how i do my own look so stay tuned okay first guys what you're going to need is a top coat so i'm going to take barry m's top coat base coat and nail hardener um, and this is about £3.99 from any jog store and next you're going to need a light blue colour so again I'm going to take Barry M and this is their nail paint um, from the pastel collection and this colour is actually called I believe uh, Blue Moon and that's the colour that you could use and next you're going to need like a corally colour or peach perhaps and I'm going to take Revlon's um, nail paint and this is called Tropical Temptation and it's number 93 and again you can find this at any drugstore and this one is about £7.99 Next you're going to need um, a nail art pen and this one is Andrea Fullerton's version and you're going to need a colour of black You will also be needing um, some kind of equipment, so you're going to use a Q-tip to uh, have a precision and also some cotton swabs. Okay, so you're going to start with a blank nail, obviously, and we're going to start by painting the nail with the top coat. So you're going to take your, your sorry, your base coat first, base coat. If you have the Barry M, then you can use the top coat, base coat, and now uh, paint. So just make sure that when you're painting your base coat, you paint in nice long strokes away from the bed of the nail towards the tip. And you're going to need about one to two coats so that your nail is uh, properly protected from the paint on top. When you've painted um, a coat or two, leave it to dry for about two to three minutes. Make sure it's bone dry before you continue to the next step. Okay, so now our nails are dry. What you're going to do is go, you're going to take your coral coloured um, paint. And again, this is Revlon's Tropical Temptation, number 93. Um, and you're going to paint um, your nail with this nail paint and make sure that you cover um, the edges and the tip as well. And I found that Revlon's uh, nail paint is quite watery, so I've actually painted my nails with about two coats, just so that the color comes off really strongly. Again, paint towards the tip, in nice long strokes. Um, and when you're happy with that, just wait another two minutes for it to dry and make sure it's dry again before we move on to the next step. Okay, now your nail is dry, you're going to take your light blue paint and again this is Barry M's um, number 317 Blue Moon. And with this paint, you're actually not going to paint the whole nail, you're going to paint about a third to about a half of your uh, nail. Make sure that when you're painting, you're going to take um, a lot of the paint off of the brush because you want to create a wispy effect on top um, to look like the sky. So take as little paint as possible on the brush and you're going to start from the outer edge and work inwards with um, a couple of small strokes. Um, the key to this look is not to have it perfect, it's meant to look quite messy so it doesn't matter if you mess it up a little bit. And just make sure it's painted um, nicely towards the centre and um, about halfway down or a third as I'm showing you here.
And then what you're going to do is um, add a little bit more paint to the brush and paint the tip of your nail with the bolder colour. And this will just make the nail pop. And you just want a nice um, solid line of colour on top of the nail to make it stand out. Again, paint about two or so coats and wait for it to dry before moving on to the next step. Okay, so now that your nails are dry, and especially the top bit, you're going to take your nail art pen, and again I'm using Andrea Fullerton's uh, nail art pen, dot and flick in black, and you're going to use the nib. This one actually has two um, uh, equipment and you can you only need to use a lift for this one and then what you're going to do is you're going to draw on your design now I've decided I'm going to draw birds onto my nail but you could cho choose anything you like you could choose palm trees you could choose dots you could choose whatever and here I'm just pressing the nail art pen to get the paint flowing and once it starts to appear at the nib you can start to draw and um, recommend that if you're not haven't got such a steady hand you should practice this first but if you're confident, you can draw on your designs free-handed as like I am. Or if you're not so confident, you should get some templates or practice beforehand. And that is literally it. So again, um, wait for this to dry before you apply your top coat. And at this point you could probably remove any excess paint. Okay, so now that your design is completely dry, make sure it's completely dry please. Um, you're just going to use your um, top coat this time, as I'm using Barry M, I'm just have to use the same thing. Um, and just make sure that you apply um, quite a bit of top coat because you want the design to stay and remain shining. Again don't use too much paint, just a little bit, just enough to cover. And I've actually found that if you uh, maybe paint over it a little bit before it dries, it smudges the design a little bit and I actually like that effect. I think it looks a bit more realistic so as you can see that my design is smudged. I quite like how it comes out, it's supposed to look a bit um, messy. And that's it, and there you have it. Your nails are done in about five minutes. Thanks for watching guys, and uh, subscribe if you like this and you want to see more. And check out my other videos too. Bye!